today I'm kind of going solo. Jerry and Wade went up with the, uh, they went quail hunting. My Uncle Larry came down from Scottsdale. And so the three of them are way over east of here quail hunting. Kennel. I can rest a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Now we'll go find some birds. Yeah, we'll find them. Yeah, it's kind of a cool silhouette right there on the right. Jerry, they've got another cafe down here on the end. Mm -hmm. They had a chicken marsala down there. Son of a good, huh? It was really, really good. good. Go ahead and stop here. This is good. And what we'll do is we'll hunt down this canyon on the left, and then we'll come back up and hunt this canyon here. Yeah, just the other right. one here. Yep, and then come back this way. Well, the habitat looks pretty good. These stringers of oaks that we're looking at here is really what they like. And they're, uh, they like to scratch to dig for tubers and, and pick up those oak seeds or oak acorns. We got a point down here. Right here. Try and pick a lane. When they come up, they're going to go towards the tree. Somebody shot real quick, man. Yeah, too quick, me. <laughs> the home range on these birds, if it's good years, is about a quarter mile square, is all. You kidding. And so if you've got good years, you should be bumping these pretty regularly oh, okay. as you go down these canyons. First shell I had didn't have a shell in like that. See, that makes it a little difficult. Stop, good girl, good girl. I miss that one. today, Larry. We just got still, one more charge I'm left. I'm still in. vertical and moving. <laughs> <laughs> These are steep hills once you have to truck up and down them. Right. Oh, boy. She pushes on point, guys. That's what she says, 67 feet right there. You're kidding. I'm not kidding if that's what it says. I'm not, I don't know if hey. it's going <laughs> Break over. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hard to get up. <laughs> Rigor Bordis had just set in there. I couldn't shoot it here between us. Right. Good job, dear. <laughs> you did for sure. Well, we Thinking about did. about one bird per mile of, of boot leather, I think, is what we were averaging today. Have you ever so. seen something more exciting than watching well, these that, birds that come up cool. at your feet? We got a lot of action today. When they come up, you know they're coming, and yet you're trying to figure out where they're coming out of that. It's such a small area, you can't believe they come out of that area. You say, oh, you're the reason they're here. <laughs> yeah. <That's fact. laughs> Wonderfully. We skin these out, we can take a look and show you what they eat. All these little brown ones are little tuber seeds. Last time Jerry was down here with them, we had a, I just put them in butter with garlic and, and salt and pepper and, and put them on top of pasta with a, a white sauce, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. it was and they, they were really, really good. 
We do have to leave one wing attached. Okay, are you, are you keeping the legs? Yes. So this is what I, I Jerry, I skin them all the way out. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we'll stop by uh, and drop these in the wing box on our way out and gives the department a little bit of information about what kind of recruitment we're getting from year to year. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna come in and try and flush it towards you guys. It won't. Get yeah. that shot down the canyon, Wade. Make sure you get a line down that canyon. Yeah. I do. I see that sucker right here. Ooh, I Whoa. didn't shoot the dog. I didn't dare. He was right there. Wade. Well, that was some tricky flying by that cliff. <laughs> There's one down. You No, that's we gotta learn to be ready after that first bird comes up. Oh. <laughs> we can't. Oh. Golly, there were five or six birds there. That was awesome. The only reason I didn't shoot the first one is because your dog was right there. That one's laying dead. I can see it. I gotta go get it. She didn't see it. Get ready for another one right here. There it goes. There it goes, right there. Behind us, huh? <laughs> Get him? No. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Averaging a flush every 30 minutes. Average. That doesn't count singles. That's cubby flush. These afternoons, this is really the time to do it. In the morning, we wouldn't have seen any of these birds. Is that right? Yeah. Because they just haven't moved enough, so she doesn't have enough scent on the ground to pick it up. So it, it makes a big difference. You know, in the mornings, Gary and I have spent a, lot, a few mornings out here and not had near the numbers of birds. It's an afternoon. We've got nine today. So, yet another productive day. Well, let's go do it. I've been hunting deer for 
five and a half days. I want to go chase something that. This will be a fun break. You get. I hopefully we get into a lot of action. For I sure, so. it'll be a little different deal for sure. Okay, I'm I'm ready to go. Easy. They're right there in front of her. There might be, there's more in here. Stop, good girl. Got that one. Smoke one. One for one. Oh, stop, good girl. Is that a hen? Yeah, look at the claws on this thing. First Merns quail right there. <laughs> and not of any of my own doing. <laughs> Just a superb quality dog. Yeah, they all went right up here. What do you say, guy, huh? Sure. Good news. When opportunity knocks, answer the door. And in Arizona, there's a lot of knocking going on. Yeah, the claws on them, the nails on them, they're, yeah. you can tell what they're made for. So they scratch. A lot of, a lot of scratching and digging. And you can see that. We haven't seen it yet this trip, but you can see where they've dug. They'll root up the ground pretty good. You'll see little pockets, little holes about the size of a, I don't know, a huh. little bigger than a baseball, just all over the side of the hill where they're looking for tubers and acorns. So is this a mature bird here with these, or would a, no, a hen have longer? Not, the only way to tell at this point in the season is to look at the, the covert feathers. And if they've got a lot of modeling on the ends of them, on the tips of them, then it's usually a juvenile, or it is a juvenile. And then you can see that they're missing primaries. So this is a juvenile here? I'd have to look at it a little closer. Gambles are really easy for me to tell. Merns are pretty tough. I don't shot know if I shot an old hen or a little girl. I should have had another one. I should have had two more actually, but I wasn't prepared. Yeah, so this is a juvenile, juvenile bird. Okay, I should have known it was the last one to flush. Which is good, right? That means that right. the more juveniles we, we take, we know we had a good year right. reproduction, so that's kind of what we're hoping for, is yeah. a higher percentage of juveniles. To so this, these birds would nest what time of year? Oh, shoot. They start pairing off pretty good. They rely on the, the monsoon, monsoon moisture. Rain. Okay. Uh, it kind of... If you have really good monsoon moistures and mild winters without freezing, uh, you tend to have a, a better, better merns year, whereas your gambles birds rely on your, your winter moisture, mostly January, February, March moisture. Okay. Uh, scale quail is kind of, studies I've seen are kind of up in the air on that. There's some people think that it, they can nest either based on winter moisture or, or uh, spring and summer moisture. So in all of his modesty, Wade Zarlingo is one of the most knowledgeable quail people I've ever encountered. We are at the Holiday Inn Express patio in Nogales, Arizona. About ready to shut off the fire alarm by the pyramids here. We got some Merns quail 
We've got some American Wigeon. We've got some pineapple, some fresh Arizona bell peppers, some globe onions, and we've got mushrooms. Wow. These are really good. This is really good. Wait, wait, wait. That is really good. Ben, you did it good. Well, don't tell everybody. It's just unbelievable how much opportunity is here. It's amazing how much public land is here, how the Arizona Voluntary Public Access Program has opened up tons of private land. If you wanna hunt in January, do what I just did. Come here to Southern Arizona and go and enjoy it all. Enjoy all of this, it's yours. Come and do it. Whether you live here as a resident or you're a non-resident, and do all of this.